If you wanted to run multiple websites on XAMPP, you need to configure the virtual hosts. So here we're going to configure the Apache server virtual hosts and then configure the Windows host file. This is going to allow you to run more than one website on XAMPP. This is also a good way of managing projects. If you've got multiple projects, here you can designate individual folders for projects and run all the projects at the same time. First, you need to find your installation of XAMPP. Mine's on the C drive and then access the Apache folder. So inside of here, you have config and then you have extra. So inside of this, you have a file called HTTP vhost.config. So right click on that and open up in your text editor. So I already have it open here. So this is a new entry. So this is a new virtual host entry. So here I specify everything or all. So this is going to work on localhost or 127.001, and it's still going to be utilizing port 80. So the host or the Apache server is going to be listening to localhost and 127 on port 80 for this website, this new website. So here we specify the default root, which is the C drive XAMPP, and I've made a new folder called htdocs project one in the XAMPP folder. Here now we specify the server name. So this is the name that we're gonna use in the browser to access this website. So here I just call it website.localhost. And then again, we now specify the directory. So this directory entry specifies again where the directory is stored or placed. So again, I've made a new folder, like I said, in, in the XAMPP folder called htdocs project one. So what we need to do then is grant access to that folder. So without these three lines, we wouldn't be able to access that folder. We would have a permission problem. So we're not going to go into those details here, but we need to add this here so that we can access this folder. So this is all the, that you need for a new website. If, of course, if you wanted to make a new website or an additional website, then just copy and paste, change your project folders, and then also change the server name. So if I just now change this to WordPress 2, for example, and project 2, I'll just go ahead now and make a new folder. So back in my XAMPP folder, you can see I've made project 1. So I'll copy and paste that and I'll make project 2 also. So now I've got two folders and the original htdocs folder. So now we need to configure the Windows host file. So here, basically, we're going to give instructions to Windows so that when we type into the browser this new web address that we have, so WordPress 1 and WordPress 2.localhost, it knows how to deal with that information. So what you need to do is type or click on the start button and type in notepad, but right click and then run as administrator and press yes. So now we need to go to file and then open. So here we need to navigate to the directory that's um, in the notes below. So just the etc we need. And then we're going to select all files and then at the bottom here, select all files and then open the host file. So that just allows us to actually access and save this file, else we're going to be locked out. We need to be administrator to actually edit this file. So we need to configure two hosts here, the WordPress 1.localhost or WordPress 2 localhost. That's what we've de defined in our virtual host. So going back to our virtual host, you can see here that we defined WordPress 2 localhost and then also WordPress 1. That was the server name. That's what we're going to type into the URL or the web browser. So everything is now in place for us to access these websites. So back in my XAMPP folder, I'm just going to put a new file in this and call this WP1, it's a text file. And then number two, again, I just add a new file called WP2 so that we can see that this is working. So now it's all configured, I need to stop and start the server. And now I can access the website. So let's have a look. So WordPress 1 localhost. 
So I can now access that WP1, that was in the folder. And then WordPress 2 website is in the WordPress 2 folder. So you can see that the file is accessible there. So now we have multiple hosts or websites that are now available for you to work. Okay, so that was the configuration of XAMPP virtual hosts to run more than one website on XAMPP. We configured the Apache server virtual hosts, and then we configured the Windows host file.